All right, for trading stock, um, I will simply um, leave it right there. And then let's just get to creditors control. With creditors control, remember this is a liability and liabilities increase on the credit side, okay? So liabilities will increase on the credit side. This is when we as the business buy on credit. It'll decrease when obviously we reduce what we owe and the various ways to reduce what we owe. I will start with the balance for creditors control, which was given to you. It was 30,650. Creators control will increase whenever we buy, and this information will be found in the creditors journal. Okay. Um, all right. And obviously, this will be total purchases that we will find um, in your CJ. And this will be the total of your creditors control column in the creditors journal. So let's check how much that will be. And this is our creditors journal. So the total of our creditors control in the creditors journal is 83,720. That will increase our creditors control account on the credit side. The only thing that remains that will increase creditors control is general credits. And we'll find this as the total under the creditors control. It will be the total of your credits and the creditors control, which is that 870. It's the total of your credits under creditors control, and that will be eight. 170, it will increase this account on the credit side. The creditors control will decrease when we pay. So payments will be recorded in our cash payment journal. Go to the cash payment journal, look for your creditors control column and it will you'll realize it's split into two and you will have discount received and payments under creators control. You add the two and you put them under bank and discount received on the debit side of our creditors control. So we'll have bank plus discount received. So you add the two amounts and that comes from your CPJ and the amount will be 26,716. All the returns that we make, um, we return to creditors will be found and the creditors allowances general it is the total of your creditors control so those will be your total allowances or total um, returns to creditors and that will reduce what we owe our creditors and we will put it on the debit side because this is a liability so when a liability decreases it will decrease on the debit side and the amount will be seven thousand 120 and the only thing left for us now is to check if we have general debits and that will be found in our general 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 creditors control the total of your debit side it's 150 and that will reduce our creditors control on the debit side and the total will be that 150. Now, we will simply take the bigger side. Obviously, the bigger side here will be the credit side minus the debit side. So you will take that 115,240. You will minus 26,760 minus 7,120 minus that 150. You will have balance carry down. And our balance carry down will be 81,210, which is basically what we owe our creditors. So we're going to owe our creditors that 81,210. And that will be balance brought down. Now let's do cost of sales quickly. Cost of sales increases at cost price whenever we sell goods and it will decrease at cost price whenever goods are returned. So cost of sales is an expense account. It will increase on the debit side. So that's why when we have balance brought down, it will be on the debit side. So it will be increased by trading stock, which is the cost price of goods that we have sold here. It's cost price of goods we have sold for cash. And this information will be found in your CRJ under the cost of sales column. So it is the total of your cost of sales column in the CRJ. And that was 37,800. The total cost of sales amount 
in your C, and not the C, actually, it is in your DJ, which represents the tools channel when we sold goods will be recorded on the debit side of this account. And the cost price there was 25,700. It will be decreased by cost of sales, which is in this case, trading stock um, that was returned to us by our debtors. And that information will be found in our DAJ. And you just balance it off, it will give you your total cost of sales for the month. And in this case, the total cost of sales for the month will be 62,500. Okay, please check out at the next video for class week two. You need to prepare your debtors control account, creditors control account in your trading stock account. Note that you are given the markup of 50%. That is 50% on cost. This is the info that you have. You need to prepare this. And this. And this. And the last one will be there. Please check the next video for solutions, but please try it out before you check out the video. That's all.